I react to color studies with my gut first. Um, and I kind of choose the color that seems the most obvious for me to make, you know, uh, something that's usually the most saturated, something that, you know, uh, based on our palette that we use, uh, might be the easiest to make in terms of less mixing. You know, you want to start with something that is extremely chromatic to start with because you can always neutralize colors, but you can't always get the intensity that you want, which is why we usually start with stronger, uh, more saturated notes. As a general rule of thumb, natural light is a lot cooler than artificial light, um, hot halogen light, which is used to illuminate a lot of our models um, in life drawing and life painting classes, um, just so you can get a stronger sense of light and shadow, which is what we usually do to kind of focus on getting good shapes. But really, everything that you're experiencing in your world is, you know, that object or that thing influenced by the light that it's under. You can make the skin any color. You can make the objects any color you want as long as the relationships of each object are working together. Um, so basically if you want to kind of make the skin more green, if you want to make the skin more pink, if you want to you know make a white object glow with you know oranges and blues and greens, you can do that. The, the possibility is there so long as the relationship of that object works within the same value range, within the same intensity range, within the same temperature range as the other objects in relationship to it. And I think that that's one of the coolest things about color study is you can, you can manipulate it. You can make it any color you want, any color you're seeing, and there's no wrong way of seeing it so long as the relationships work. Color is just so catching and grabbing for your attention. And I think that people respond and react to colorful paintings more strongly. I think it's just something innate inside of us that kind of makes us attracted to color. Um, and uh, I think that if you kind of use color study as a way to explore the environment, you'll more accurately convey to your audience what's going on. So color study for me is definitely more of just an exploration. It's fun. Um, and uh, it's a challenge. And there's nothing that really excites me more than figuring uh, out and seeing the differences that are in human skin. You come to Encaminati to learn about color um, and you find out that there's so much to it. It's very complicated, it's very hard, um, but I promise it's worth it if you can kind of figure it out and explore. Um, It'll make your paintings really read. It'll make your paintings sing. I will be painting a portrait in palette knife, uh, which is, I think, an expressive way to uh, explore color study. Um, you'll really get the gist of the inner workings of my brain. Um, I think that palette knife allows me to be a lot more free in my color making decisions. So, um, yeah, Saturday, March 24th. <laughs>